you, my dragonfly friends. Miss Erica misses you so much. Can't wait till we're hanging out together. Can't wait to see you guys. But until then, you and I are gonna do a little something something today. We are gonna make some clay. Cause it's Friday and Friday should just be a, a cooking day, clay day. So we're gonna make something really, really simple, okay? It's gonna be you and a grown up, a parent or somebody to help you out. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Before we get started, I wanna let my parents know that the recipe that came in your lesson plan came directly out of the curriculum. But when I read over it, I was like, ugh, this seems like a lot. So I did find a recipe that was like a bit smaller, and so that's the recipe I'm going to use. But it's up to you whether you wanna use the bigger one or the smaller one. For this project, you will need baking soda, water, and cornstarch. You will also need a pot and a spoon and measuring cups. Okay, so I have my pot and my spoon. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my baking soda. Baking soda. Next, I am going to add my cornstarch. Cornstarch. Then next, I am going to add my water. While I'm adding my water, I'm gonna stir it a bit. And then, I am going to turn my stove on to medium heat. And I am going to cook this until it starts to look like a batch of smooth and silky mashed potatoes. Now we're gonna take our little mashed potato ordeal here and we're gonna put it in a bowl. And now we're going to let that cool. So this has been sitting here, it's been cooling for about two hours. Let's see. And so what you get is this little bit of clay, but it's got this really unique and interesting texture. It's kind of good. It's a star. I'm not sure if I would suggest making them this thick. You can make them a little bit thinner. Also, you can take your star or whatever it is and you can let it sit out and harden overnight or you can put it in the oven. And so I, I'm gonna put mine in the oven. Let's see what happens. Hi, I'm back. So this is my star and I baked it in the oven for a lot of hours. Um, I baked it at 175 because it has to slowly bake and in my oven and mine is really thick so mine took like two hours to bake but it's nice and hard so now if you like if you want to take it this far you can try to paint it Miss Erica loves arts and crafts so guess what she's got lots of paint <laughs> This is like only one of my buckets. I have like three buckets of these. <laughs> I love it. So I hope you at least tried or enjoyed making your little 
ornament or whatever and you don't have to bake it if you want you can just I don't know like make a chicken out of it or you can make an egg out of it you can make an oval or heart or circle whatever it is you want to do sky's the limit okay <laughs> all right so until I see you next time bye friends